Good afternoon. My name is Arvind Budimlich, and I am Executive Director for IMAA. In this segment, we're talking about partnership between IMAA and RHCP, and also about how IMAA has responded to this COVID-19 crisis. The partnership between IMAA and RHCP has existed for 15 years. We have been involved in many joint projects serving non-English speaking communities, but COVID-19 crisis was different and has been different. And it required taking our partnership to a next level. It happened fast and it, it required even faster response. Non-English speaking communities found themselves not having access to the information that is timely and accurate. And without that information, non-English speaking communities were unable to know what to do about COVID-19. Under the leadership of Dr. Irene Sia and Dr. Mark Wieland, RHCP and Mayo Clinic developed informational and educational information about COVID-19, what it is, what are the symptoms, and also information about where to go for testing and what to do if you test positive. That information was quickly translated in, in multiple languages by using community leaders at RHCP and IMA staff. As that information was translated and made available, both organizations engage in disseminating that information to thousands of individuals and communities. I, can I cannot be more proud about the recent work uh, and partnership between RHCP and IMAA. And I'm very grateful for the leadership of RHCP, Dr. Sia and Dr. Whelan, for reaching out and engaging IMAA in this very important service to community. Now, during that time, and even currently, we also reached out to Alta County Public Health, and we reach out to OMC and Mayo Clinic, and we developed formal protocols on how to use community health workers at IMAA to assist individuals in non-English speaking communities who test positive. And that has streamlined that process to the point that we can assist these individuals and families longer term. And we are proud of that effort as well. Now, the next step in our partnership is a joint proposal to MDH, in which we are seeking additional resources to continue this strong partnership and service to non English speaking communities. Besides these efforts, IMA has been involved in multiple efforts across the community with multiple partners to provide food and incidentals to non-English speaking communities. We continue to do that as the need arises. We are proud of living our mission of building bridges between cultures and working tirelessly in service to refugee and immigrant communities. Please join us as we continue to serve refugees and immigrants in our region, in helping them becoming a contributing members of this society. Thank you.